we are taking the chapter number 10 that is reaching the age of adolescence reaching the age of adolescence we are ta taking the question and answers on this what is the term used for secretions of endocrine glands responsible for changes taking place in the body this is known as hormones hormones are chemical messengers that transport signal from one cell or you can say a gland to another cell so these are hormones which are chemical messengers transporting signal from one cell to another define adolescence see uh, when we are born after that when there is a certain age when our body prepare us for reproduction so the period of life when the body undergoes changes and which will lead us to reproductive maturity this is known as adolescence it starts around 11 and this is not very specific in depends on person to person it starts around age 11 and lasts up to 18 to 19 years of age what is menstruation explain in female there is a particular time when they bleed means they this is a natural phenomena we all should talk about this in because of this the the world is alive means all of us are because of this uh, procedure or this type type of natural happening only so in a female reproductive ovaries female reproductive ovaries the ova the ova begins to mature with the onset of puberty once this ovum matures in about 28 to 30 days it is released by one of the ovaries now at this period the wall of the if this is the wall this is the wall the wall of the uterus becomes thick it becomes thick so as to receive the egg okay as to receive the egg in case it is fertilized it will develop here because it be, it has already developed itself become thick and if this fertilization doesn't occur the released egg and the thickened lining this one along with the blood vessels they are shed off every month so this causes bleeding in female which is called menstruation the so menstruation occurs once in about 28 to 30 days it depends also it can change uh, in some women list changes the body that take place at puberty so there are certain changes uh, changes you uh, will see in boys certain changes in girls so there are certain changes if uh, we talk about boys and girls in common then sudden increase in height change in body shape change in the voice because the boys voice become deep and harsh girls uh, their voice are pitched high the sweat and sebaceous glands it has more activity and the reproductive organs begin to mature and then the appearance of secondary sexual characteristic also start appearing what are the changes in boy during puberty first of all beard and mustaches facial facial development hair develops under the armpit and uh, chest and pubic areas that is the genital areas voice becomes deeper and uh, you can say you know louder muscle develop and the shoulder becomes broad and weight is in weight there is a increase in the weight now what happens in girls the breast the breast becomes enlarged not in the chest but armpit and pubic regions there the the hairs are similar as boys the hips are broadened and pelvic region widens just because you know the, if in case she has to carry a child menstruation cycle starts and with this this point this also is related to that point deposition of fat around hips takes place prepare table having two columns depending the name of endocrine glands and hormones secreted by them so pituitary this is the endocrine gland which which uh, secrete growth hormones thyroid thyroxine adrenal adrenaline 
and pancreas, insulin, testis, testosterone, ovaries, oestrogen and progesterone. What are sex hormones and why are they named so? Also state their function. See, these are called sex hormones because they constitute the secondary sexual characters. In general, what happens? Hormone work instantly because they are released in the bloodstream. But sex hormones are different. They start to work later on. That is, they gradually prepare our body for reproduction. The sex hormones are responsible for fundamental change in growth and development and also stimulate the development of secondary sexual characteristics like, like, the, like the breast in the women and uh, you know moustaches beard in the men. The testes and the ovaries that is the reproductive organs they are stimulated by the pituitary hormone during the puberty and that is why they are called as sex hormones. And now what are the functions of sex hormone? In first of all, we will talk about male. The testes produce the male sex hormone which is called as testes, tes, testosterone. It's very difficult to you know pronounce. Testosterone will speak. This hormone helps in the development and maintenance of primary and secondary sexual characters. And also the sperm, the production of sperm. In female, the ovaries secrete oestrogen and progesterone responsible for the primary and secondary sexual characters. We have to choose the correct options. Adolescents should be should be careful about what they eat because uh, this is the correct answer, I guess. Proper diet is needed for the rapid growth taking place in their body. Reproductive age in women starts when their menstruation start. The right meal for adolescent consists of uh, chapati, dal, and vegetable. This is good. So these are the answer no? and these are the reasons for that because proper diet is needed and second is uh, menstruation starts and third one is chapati dal and vegetable that is this is bread this is legume and these are vegetables write short notes on adam's apple second be sexual character sex determination in the unborn body adam apple that is the you know if you see uh, a male there is a protruding part of the, uh, of the throat which is called as the Adam's apple. So this is nothing but uh, an enlarged voiced box or larynx which uh, gets enlarged and in boys especially they are visible on the onset of the puberty. And that this makes uh, the voice of boys hoarse. There are secondary sexual characters. Let us talk about this one. In boys, facial hairs like beard and mustaches. Um, the hairs under armpit, chest, and pubic regions. The voice is deeper, becomes deeper. Muscle develop, and they should. Uh, the shoulder also becomes broad in many cases, and the weight is increased. While in girls, the breasts are enlarged; they are visible. Hair develops not on the chest but armpit and pubic regions. The deposition of fat around hips and the broadening. Uh, and pelvic region broadening hips is because uh, they would carry the next generation and the menstruation cycle also starts. The next is sex determination in the unborn baby. So, how does it work? Or what is this? All human beings, all human beings, they have 23 pairs of chromosomes in the nuclei of their cells. So, out of these two out of these two chromosomes are the sex uh, chromosomes and they are called as X and Y. A female has two X chromosomes means a female has two X chromosomes and the male has the male has uh, X and Y. So the gametes egg and sperm have only one set of chromosomes. So, the fertilized egg always has one X chromosome, but sperms may have X and Y. So, there are possibility of X and Y from men only. So, when a sperm containing X chromosome, X chromosome fertilize the egg, the zygote would have two chromosomes and develop into a female child. Right? If the sperm con contributes Y chromosomes, Y chromosomes to the egg at the fertilization, the zygote would become or develop into a male child. 
So this concludes that the sex hormones of the father actually determines the sex of an unborn baby. Word game. So these are some word games. Uh, protruding voice box in uh, boys that is larynx. Right? Like this we have to fill up. So let us fill up. Just read them once. Like uh, thyroid secretes, thyroxine. This we are going to fill up. So this is uh, the the side and you can say across and down down boxes where we have to fill the answers. So let us see the answer directly. This is thyroid, testosterone, and we have larynx, puberty, and the target site. Then we have Adam's apple, endocrine, hormone, insulin, estrogen, and pituitary. Now the table here shows the data on likely heights of boys and girls as they grow at their age. We have to draw a graph which is already being made uh, showing height and age of both boys and girls on the same graph paper. What conclusion do you draw? First of all, the x axis we have taken as the age, the y axis we have taken as the height. So we have two line graphs here, one is shown by a purple color, one is by black color. Black is for boys, purple is for girls. As you see here, that girls are taller than boys till the till they reach age 12 till the age 16 they are almost uh, same but after 16 both boys and girls uh, increase or they gain height but the boys are taller than the girls so this is all about the question and answer on adolescence thank you so much take care of yourself